Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is a Morning Market Prep video for May 16th, 2022. Well, we had a nice little relief rally on Friday, but the question is, can we follow through today? Well, I'm not 100% sure on that with all of the resistance we have above, but how about we settle in, let's buckle up, let's get ready for the Monday edition of the Morning Market Prep video, see if we can figure out how we might want to approach the market for the new week. Good morning, everyone. Thank you so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at these charts. We've got some interesting things going on in here with lots of resistance levels above. Um, and unfortunately, we didn't resolve much of anything yes, um, on Friday um, with the rally. Notice as we rallied up here, we pushed up into some price resistance in the chart, but just really didn't resolve anything, not breaking through any major resistance levels out there. We um, also have to kind of keep in mind, we still have downtrend in play. And unfortunately this weekend, there was a lot more conversation coming in about recession and the possibility of recession and that's kind of hampered um, that enthusiasm here um, this morning, we started out the futures last night looking bullish, but they've kind of lost some of that momentum here this morning as we um, reach up here to try and test some resistance levels in the chart. So kind of keep in mind, if those bulls find that inspiration here today, then we'll want to watch some of these resistance levels and see if we can break through and move back up here to challenge this shorter term downtrend in the chart and keep in mind we still have a longer term downtrend that we've got a lot of work to get through some of these major levels of resistance in the chart so ugh, we got a we got a challenge ahead of us and the question will be will those bulls have enough energy to do that um, we'll want to look right in here if we were to fail and please keep in mind guys it's a pretty common pattern um, that um, after we've made a bottom, um, a short-term bottom like this, that we test that area again for support. So if we hold it as support, we could be in good shape. If we fail, obviously not so much, but watch that closely here as we progress through the week. Now, I do kind of lean toward a little bit more of a relief rally, but with the uncertainties that we see out there, it may be a little bit difficult for those bulls to really catch on and and find a whole lot of, of enthusiasm to the upside just yet. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY also very technically damaged here. Um, obviously we pushed up and that was nice to see, but notice we didn't even quite make it up here into that resistance level of the chart. The good news is that we did push up into 400. Now 400 or 4,000 in the SPY is going to either serve as a pretty substantial resistance level or a substantial support. And notice that we just, just barely held onto that by 15 cents on Friday. Um, but let's keep in mind, we still have these substantial downtrends to deal with, all this overhead resistance and the technicals in these charts, you know, pretty awful. Um, just hanging around that 500 day moving average here on the SPY. If we take a look at our QQQ, well, it doesn't, the picture doesn't get any better here. The QQQ trying to hold on to a little bit of support. Let me remove these lines in here. Trying to hold on to a little bit of um, support in the longer term, um, all the way over to the left, there's a little tiny bit of support in there. Notice that we didn't break through any resistance levels in the chart, and what we have above is substantial. So kind of keep in mind that shorter term downtrend We've still got some work to do to breach up through there. And then of course, longer term, we have some major challenges above. Again, if those bulls can find that inspiration, then we may have that opportunity to move up here and, and at least test that downtrend as resistance. But we'll see if we can find enough momentum to do that or if we move back lower to retest lows. And keep in mind our technicals here 
are terrible. And um, just that reminder from last week, there's a really good chance we could see our 50-day moving average cross down or come very close to crossing down through the 500-day here um, before the end of the week. So that's going to set up a substantial level of price resistance and technical resistance in that chart right through that area. So watch that closely. And our IWM um, had a, probably one of the better uh, follow through days um, of the indexes. Notice we had a nice bullish candle here that um, that pushed on through gapping up. So we had a good response here in the Russell to the upside on Friday. But unfortunately, um, there's so much technical damage um, in this chart not really inspiring to see that move up all that much and um, notice that we just have just tremendous levels of resistance above so the question is going to be will we have enough fight in those bulls to continue to push this to the upside maybe to challenge that shorter term downtrend in the chart or some of those resistance levels and if we don't then once again we do want to watch for that possibility that we could at least retest the lows on any kind of a pullback if we take a look at our VIX our VIX had a little whoops there we go our VIX took a little bit of a break here on Friday but unfortunately it wasn't enough to really change anything as you can see we've avoided breaking through this really fear um, area in the chart where I think things could really turn ugly if we break above that on the VIX but we've kind of held on to a bit of an upside trend here closing down below 30 was a nice thing to see a um, little bit of relief but we're not going to experience a whole lot of relief until we break down through this 25 26 area here in the chart and start breaking those trends here in that upside move so watch that closely if we bounce off of this and continue to wedge out um, that could be a little bit of problem for us if we push up through there if we can break that trend and come down here and and, and I honestly I kind of lean toward that a little bit hoping that we get a little bit more of a calming in the market a little bit more relief I'm not suggesting that what that means is is we get that big bullish move to the upside but at least we rest a little bit we calm down a little bit from this really wild price volatility and then if we take a look at our uh, t2122 now that t2122 we did get that nice little relief and we i'd been calling for that um this had been indicating that we needed it and we bounced up nicely here but notice we really didn't fix anything um, in that chart if we can continue to push on through the up to the upside we certainly have opened plenty of upside opportunity in here if we can find that inspiration we do have a bit of a you know a little bit of a downtrending type pattern in there so we'll want to watch this right up around that 50 percent area in the chart and if the bears find inspiration well uh, friday's rally did open up more opportunity for selling so we'll have to keep a close eye on that our t2107 T2107 had a nice little improvement here, as you can see, bouncing off of that, but unfortunately it didn't fix anything. We're still down here, um, uh, just barely above those uh, new lows for the year. Our overall trends remain downtrending. Um, we have resistance above and only 22 and a half percent of the stocks holding above their 200 day moving average that that's not exactly a bullish picture um, but that does help us a little bit on that idea that we're so bearish that we could still catch a little bit more relief and the same is going to be in t2108 our t2108 really not a big improvement on Friday we pushed up here 15 and a half percent of our stocks holding above um, their 40-day moving average and unfortunately we still have lots of resistance in this chart above and keeping keeping in mind that we still have that overall downtrend here in the market but once again we're so bearish here in the market right now that it does give us that little bit of hope that um, we can continue to relieve some of this pressure or at least take a bit of a sideways breath in the market and um, rest 
um, as we try to sort out all these details. Let's take a look at our uh, T2101. You can see in T2101 it did hook just a little teeny tiny bit on Friday pulling back from that momentum of the selling. We'll want to be keeping an eye on this area up here. If we get more fear coming into the market and we spike above that, that could really trigger that panic move in the market where we get that more of a capitulation type selling if we drop in um, or drop or push above that area here um, in the market and drop through some support levels in the charts. So watch that close. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. Now our economic calendar, it is a, a kind of a light one, um, but we do have a week that could keep us on our toes here with some data that uh, well, it's just going to be an interesting one. Uh, notice right here we've got Empire State Manufacturing coming in this morning at 8.30. Um, that, of course, can move us around a little bit. It's not known for one of those reports that move us a lot. However, if it comes in substantially bearish, that's not going to help the market at all here right now. We need that little bit of encouragement to come in. Um, we have some Fed speak here. We got the Treasury, Inter Treasury International Capital later on today. Uh, keep in mind, we've got a six-month uh, bill auction and a three-month bill auction that certainly could move us around a little bit. Is that been a major concern here for the market. And then let's take a look. Tuesday is where we're really going to have to hold our breath maybe a little bit. We've got retail sales. Tuesday morning, industrial production, some Fed speak um, obviously going on. We've even got Jerome Powell in here talking, so we'll have to keep an eye on that. Wednesday, we're going to hit some housing numbers. We're going to get those mortgage applications housing starts and permits those have started to become a little bit problematic for us and some more fed speak and then as we move into thursday our normal jobless claims we got the philly fed in here on thursday which is certainly a market mover and then of course existing home sales as well so we'll have to keep an eye on that so a lot of a lot of fed conversation a lot of things going on here throughout the week that could still make this a very very challenging week of price action let's take a look at our earnings calendar interestingly um our earnings calendar is pretty busy um today with uh, well today is going to be our biggest day of earnings reports this week but we're going to have kind of a focus of retail um, um retail numbers this week so that could be really interesting considering where our inflation is and it might help us take a little bit of that temperature of what the consumers are thinking um, as we move forward today on the earnings calendar however we have uh, several um, notables that i've listed on in the blog so if you guys want to catch that full list of notables please click that link just below the title of the video that'll take you back to the morning blog a couple of you might want to keep an eye on um, ARCX will be reporting today. Oops, ARCX. AC, sorry, I'm dyslexic this morning. ACRX. Um, this has been moving in a substantial downtrend, as you can see, and it looks like not getting a whole lot of help in that earnings report here this morning. So watch that closely. We've got DAC. Boy, I cannot type this morning. We've got DAC reporting here today. Obviously been moving in a downtrend. Considerable resistance um, in that chart above. So keep an eye on that. Looks like we're getting just a little bit of bearishness here this morning on that. Um, we've got NU that will be reporting today. And uh, some of these um, global banks uh, will want to keep an eye on that. They've been pushing up here recently, just that last couple of days in a push up. Watch these resistance levels as we run into these down trends um, keep an eye on that SSYS reporting today and TTWO will be reporting today so keep an eye on that um, lots of downtrending things here in the market so um, I'm not sure any of these um, reports are going to be that big market moving report today so um, 
we may be still struggling for some kind of direction and momentum here, um, even as these report. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me that quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful and helpful, if you could please do me that favor and click that that thumbs up button leave a brief comment that helps the channel to continue to grow and I just want to say thank you to everyone who does do that yeah I truly truly appreciate it we continue to grow it's slowing down just a little bit but that I think that would be normal as we uh, get um, a bigger and bigger group of folks um, uh, participating in the channel so um, thank you so much to everyone who does take the time to do that it means the world to me I do truly appreciate it and once again thank you to everyone who does support the channel through the buy me a coffee link that truly helps um, helps out and I really really appreciate that let's take a look at um, some of these stocks setting up and please keep in mind guys these aren't recommendations to buy or sell any security as a matter of fact you're gonna have to be very very careful do your own due diligence because the market has been so incredibly volatile and dangerous I've been um, working with a lot of folks in coaching here recently um, individual coaching and finding that so many people were losing they're losing so much money right now and for some reason unwilling to back away and that's that fear of missing out in the market everyone's hoping or anticipating will eventually find that bottom but truthfully guys if this is going to be a recessionary market if we're really going to hit that true bear market this could go on to the downside for another year or so so kind of keep that in mind we're going to have to be more cautious and careful about the trades we take. We need to be very disciplined to a set of rules and um, watch carefully. If we're losing money day after day, it's time to stop trading and reevaluate where you are. Don't get caught up in that fear of missing out trade, rushing in only to rush into another whipsaw in the market. Let's take a look at some of these stocks and um, just you know these are we're just gonna have to be really really careful here guys take a look at uh, FedEx now FedEx is one I'm keeping an eye on and FedEx pretty interesting chart here overall it's in a pattern you can see I've placed an alert here on the chart been watching it it popped on Friday I didn't buy it on Friday because I'm not much of a stock buyer going into a weekend but watch this closely here as you can see uh, maybe um, beginning that little uptrend and it's a pattern that I like to watch for um, coming into play and that's that rounded bottom breakout where we break above that 50-day moving average and hold and I'm looking for that little bit of relief up to the upside here um, toward that 200 day moving average we'll see if that can gain some ground here and take off but uh, again we're, we're going to have to be patient we're going to have to wait on these trades don't rush into them and don't predict them um, take a look at stocks like coke coke had a good move on friday popping through an alert i had here on the chart now watch that carefully we're coming out from underneath this little bit of a, a downtrend we held some higher lows in here this is a defense defensive sector stock and we've been seeing a lot of these defensive sector and food related stocks holding up quite well now I'm not going to suggest that we're just going to take off from here and rip to the new to a, a, a new high in that uh, this chart but watch that closely um, if this were to rest or pull back right in here and hold there that would signal potentially some upside move in that chart and of course we'll want to be watching this closely as we approach resistance levels up here um, um, so be kind of careful here one day we'll finally see a little bit of relief in some of these food related stocks as well and I mean selling relief where we might take a little bit of pressure off of them and pull them back um, here a bit but so far trends hold up we're looking really good in these defensive sector um, areas take a look at CLX now CLX I have a little bias here um, I continue to hold CLX and that's been working out nicely here and as you guys know I picked this up right in here here and we're moving to the upside I've already taken 75% of the profits off of this trade um, and um, what I'm doing at this point is I've got a short strike up here uh, cover call to um, 
cover the rest of that position um, for a potential pullback. But I'm just looking at this slowly, gradually moving up to fill that gap and maybe even push even higher through some of that resistance. Again, defensive sector stocks, good dividend payer, payers have been holding up quite well. You might want to take a look at some of those stocks like um, Schmuckers. SJM, I'm holding up in here that potential that that could break through some resistance and move on through to the upside. We've been seeing Hershey holding up strong, looking pretty good. Take a look at Hormel. Hormel holding in there, had a nice pop on Friday. Looks like it's trying to pop a little bit higher this morning. Keep a close eye on some of these um, charts like this, trying to move in trends, hold up there. We do have resistance above to keep an eye on, but they are trying to hang in there. Um, the other place, guys, that continues to be very, very strong is is anything in energy. As you guys know, I've been holding UNG and this has been a longer term hold. Um, it doesn't look like we're gonna get any resolution here over in um, Ukraine anytime soon, which continues to add pressure to that natural gas area here. And then of course, our administration's policies on energy um, aren't helping at all, hitting new record uh, prices in gas and diesel here this weekend. So keep an eye on this guys. Um, uh, UNG looks like it may have some more upside potential in that natural gas area. And then if you look at some of the oil producers like um, uh, Devon, um, Devon holding up pretty well, uh, pushing back up may um, eventually uh, push right on through for more upside here in that chart. Take a look at that looking strong. Um, Exxon Mobil um, did well on Friday, pushing back up through some resistance. Watch for more potential upside uh, maybe coming in those charts. Stocks like CVX also doing very, very well. Watch those closely as they approach these resistance levels. But it seems right now that oil and gas probably continues. Oil, gas, and food um, continue to show those upside um, um, opportunities here in the charts. You could even take a look at um, some of the commodities. Take a look at wheat. Um, wheat staying very, very strong, pushing back up toward resistance. Once again, remember about 40% of all of our wheat in the world comes from Ukraine and Russia. And um, unfortunately, um, the planting season is not likely happening um, over there uh, for wheat. So watch that closely, guys. Um, I think these prices in food continue to go higher. You could also look at corn uh, moving up, or you could catch yourself a, um, an ETF, um, um, DBC. DBC is a commodity tracking ETF. You could keep an eye on that if you want to hold a basket of those. And notice these trends are uh, still quite strong, may require a little bit of rest or consolidation after pushing up there toward that high, but watch that opportunity maybe to go on higher. I just don't see food prices getting any better here in the very recent future. And I could be wrong, and believe me, I hope I'm wrong, but watching um, watching some of these prices, it's not very encouraging. So with that, guys, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day in your trading. I want to wish you great results. Be careful out there, guys. It's going to be a challenging day. Futures were popping in the pre or I mean, overnight they were trying to move higher, but we've pulled back. We saw China had some bad economic numbers as their lockdown continues to weigh on their economy. Um, China's in a real threatening position um, with more um, defaults happening over there. And then, of course, we have that situation where Japan is running into trouble um, with their currency as well. So a lot of challenges out there yet to deal with and a lot of uncertainty to deal with. So just be careful. Careful. Don't be rushing in thinking that the bottom is in. Not just sure of that yet, so be careful. Wish you guys all a fantastic day, and we'll see you right back here bright and early Tuesday morning. Wish you all the best.